How's it going guys? Cold day, back again, dropping yet another video. Right, I'm sorry you can't really see me because I've had to put the uh, kitchen light on. Doing something a bit different today. Now, when you're in prison, guys, some prison meals are better than others, right? Depending on what prison you're in. In strange ways, I can only class one good meal, and that was on a Wednesday when we get a baguette. We get a chicken tikka baguette for me, dinner, bag of Seabrook crisps, and a big orange, right? But the thing is, so when you know this and stuff, and you know that food in prison isn't the best, what prisoners do, there's a thing called the canteen. Now, it's not like a canteen where you can sit down and stuff like that. It's not that sort of canteen. It, it's things that you can order from your private cash um, that drop over once or twice a week. Some prisons get one canteen a week, some get two, um, where you can order food, toiletries, supplies, right? So obviously, because prison meals are not very nutritional, Prisoners can buy things that they like. So if you're in the gym all the time and you need that protein, you can order John West tuna. Right, this is a jacket topper, right? Because they didn't have the sachets that I wanted, but they're very similar to these. So this one is tuna with a French style dressing, right? So you use this, you can put it on toast, you can put it with the thing that I'm gonna put it with in a second. This one is tuna with a lime and black dressing, black pepper dressing. This one is tuna with an oven, with an oven dried tomato and herb dressing. These are about, about a pound to a pound 10, 15, pound 20 on canteen, right? So you've got three lots of tuna there. So you've got three lots of different protein, right? Different flavors and stuff. Then this is, if you are in prison, this is a must have for any, any prisoner, right? Oh, you can buy noodles, right? Now, prison noodles are big business within prison. Anyone that knows this, All right? Look, chicken, you've got beef, right? If you if you were a prisoner and you like your food, I'll guarantee you you will have these are coca noodles. We use coli noodles, but I've actually tried these. Um, a subscriber's a subscriber of mine, a prisoner's girlfriend, Callie, she knows who she is. She hooked me up. You've got curry and you've got masala. These are on the canteen, 25, 35, up to 50p, 25 to 50p, um, depending if they're trying to rip you off or not. Then all you need is a bowl. Obviously in prison, you'd have a plastic bowl and then a plate. Now you're thinking plate, like I'm not eating off this plate. What you do, so you'll pick up, so we're gonna go with beef. I'm actually gonna eat these guys. All right, so beef noodles, open it up. So you get your little noodles guys and then you get your sachet. All right, so what you do, you get your noodles, break it in half. You've got to remember guys, not everyone in prison can cook and stuff. A lot of people can't even boil an egg, right? So you've got your noodles, right? They're there, right? Now, depending on what prison you're in, you may or may not have a, um, a kettle in your cell. In strange ways, I did. In Forest Bank, we had to fill. Um, there was a hot water tank and we used to fill it from there. So you've got your, you've got your noodles, right? You've got your noodles here. Scalding hot water over them. Make sure not to burn myself. Right, fill that like three quarters of the way up, right? Then what you do, you take your, you take your plate, you put it on top of the uh, noodles like this. Right, then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video. You'll see a little clock as it fast forwards, about five or 10 minutes, leave it. Then you'll get a fork and then what you'll do, you'll break the noodles up. You'll then, I'm gonna use, rather than, I'm gonna use this to drain it off, I'll drain off 95% of the juice. Some people dry it all the way out, so it's just the noodles that are left. Then you add your seasoning, and then what you can do is you can add one of your tuna toppers. Like, like I said, three lots of protein there, different flavors. Tuna lime with the uh, black pepper dressing, tuna with French style dressing, and then you've got uh, tuna with oven dried tomato and herb dressing. Um, meal, it's a meal, it packs your belly out. Um, and like I say, it, it's an alternative to prison food because prison food is that bad. So I'm gonna leave this video here guys. Catch me in about 10 minutes when I finish this process off. Right guys, so we've left it to sit for about like five, 10 minutes. So then it's just a case of you take the lid off, because what it's doing, it's just cooking guys while you're doing it. So then all it's a case of doing is, you've got your noodles, you've got your noodles like this, I'm gonna have to sit on some, 
burning my fucking hands. So and you just, I, I, all I'm doing here guys, I can't pick the bottle up, it's actually that hot. So all you're doing is literally unpicking the noodles, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. It's cooking, it's cooking, it's cooking, it's cooking. Just again, you're unneedling the noodles, just sticking a, sticking a fork through there guys, just picking it through, picking it. This is a very simple, it's not really cooking guys to be honest, but it's, it's just another meal. What it is, it's giving prisoners girlfriends uh, and prisoners wives and stuff. An inkling into some of the things that prisoners eat when they're not when prison food is that bad. Because people say, well, if prison food's that bad and you binge your tea, what have you had? And I'll guarantee you, many hundreds of probably thousands and thousands of prisoners will have eaten this very very meal. So it's there. It's just I've unpicked all the noodles. Just again, I'm just stirring it, ripping like sticking my thought through it, pulling the fork up. And it's just unraveling all those noodles, guys, right? And then all you do, you stick this over the lid. Hold on, I need to get, gonna get a little uh, tea towel. And then what I'll do is I'll loop it. So I'm going under the bowl, onto the top. And then just in case of this, guys, watch what I'm doing, because I'm scalding myself. No surprise there. Did you see the chair debacle as well, where I fell off the chair? If not, watch that vlog where I said must watch till the end. Right, so all I'm doing here, guys, literally, you can see, draining the water, draining the water, draining the water. I'm doing it into the bowl rather than going all the way over to the... Uh, trying to drain as much as that I can off. There we go, that'll do. <coughs> Take the top off. Normally, all you'd use for that is a plastic plate. Then you've got your noodles here. Like I said, I don't even know why I'm doing this video, guys. Some old people will take the piss, but your noodles are there. They're dried off, they're drained, right? So what do you do now? Some people, right, what they'll do, because this is a beef sachet, right? Some people will use this. Some people won't use the sachet, and they'll just jump straight into the tuna. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do both because I'm a dirty bastard. I'm not a big fan of tuna, to be honest, but I'm going to do it. I spent three quid on them little sachets, so I might as well do it. So, again, guys, all the water's drained off there. Some people leave a little bit of water, so you get, like, the beefy juice in, the beefy juice goodness. Some people don't, so then it's just a case of, like I say, sprinkle it on, right, like this. I'll tell you what, I'm no fucking Gordon Ramsay, am I? So we're just obviously stirring that up, what I'm doing. I'm trying to get that beef to the bottom because I don't want, it, I don't want to put all it on there. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Try to get some new noodles at the top that have not got the dust or the flavour in. Again, guys, whipping through, whipping through, whipping through, whipping through. Putting all that sachet there. Stop again. Again, stir it up. You don't want it all. You don't want all your noodles getting all that beef because because they're dry now. There's a little bit of water on them. Um, if you leave the water on, it just washes the fucking. It can wash the. Uh, Flavouring off the finger. Alright, so go back again. Last bit of the sachet. Last bit of the sachet. There we go. One last stir. So go in and again. Topping, tossing, tossing, tossing. Tossing, 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 tossing. Right. Now, like I say, a lot of guys in prison, they, they go to the gym. Not everyone does. Right, like I said, these are about one pound. But they can be a pound, they can be one pound twenty-five. I've seen them up to one pound fifty. Um, pr different prisons have different pricing uh, things, right? So easy, rippable. Some prisons, guys, right? They don't actually do this. They actually have tins. Um, and do you know what? It's supposed to be fucking rippable. This fuck's sake, right? Get in there, right? Some prisons, guys, actually have tins of tuna. Um, and what they've got to do is you've actually got to use a, a nail clipper. To actually get the fucking, I can't believe this. I'm trying to fucking, it's supposed to be fucking, like, right there we go, fucking finally, muscles from Brussels, I am not. Right, there's your tuna, guys. You can see that little bit of tuna. And it's just a case of get in there. Right, the tuna, um, try and, right, hold on. Just put that on there, I don't give a shit. Right, so here we go. There's the bowl, if it'll stay there. So you got your tuna, guys, and then just pull it off. Pull all your tuna off. Pull it into there. 
that's what you're doing pulling all the tune around you don't get loads of it guys to be fair just uh they're not the biggest sashes in the world trying to make sure i'm in shot and then like i say tuner's out tuner's done and then you stick it in it's just a case of stirring the tuna into the noodles so you've got beef noodles and tuna which doesn't go at all but you know what guys prison food isn't much better the taste is in the testing so let's do it that tastes fucking disgusting oh what the fuck what flavor was that tuna man but here we go guys again Prison food, guys. Alternative to prison meals if you can't stomach what's gone on on the, on the servery that day for food. Get back to your cell. Get into your tuna stash. Get into your pa uh, get into your um, to your noodles. And the jobs are good in. Right, guys. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. I am fucking not. I'm going to get back, sit down and have these noodles. Um, it's a very basic prison food, guys. It's not really cooking. It's very simple to do. But like I say, not everyone in prison is a domestic god. Can't cook. Do you know what I mean? They can't even boil an egg, some of us. But like I say, this is a quick, easy way um, to get some, some, get some tucker down your neck if the prison food that day is disgusting or you've not put your menu in and you're on default. Get back to yourself. Get some prison noodles down your cheap. Filling, protein from your tuna, jobs are good and filling. On that note, guys, on that note, guys, leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.